This is how you spy on people's trades in Adopt Me. You can literally see what they are trading right now. There's also two brand new pets coming into the game, and I'm going to be making both instantly neon. So if you want to know what a neon pelican looks like and a neon eel, then stick around till the end of the video, as I'm going and making these completely neon. Plus, I'm going to give away a free pelican to one of you guys who comments on this video and leaves it a thumbs up. So be sure to like this video and subscribe if you're not already. The first new feature is called Quick Quick replies. To activate it, click the small emoji button next to the send, and you'll see six different emojis that you can go and select. For example, when you go and click the waving one, it will go and say hi and show you a waving emoji. The idea behind this is for all of those people who can't be bothered to go and type things out, and it also speeds up the process. Because there are so many players out there who just go and instantly decline, being able to just go and press the plus button and it will go and message message from your account saying please add more and you can click these as many times as you'd like. You can go into your settings and change it if you don't like how this looks, but I imagine everyone's going to have this enabled so I recommend you do as well. But being able to say to add more or deal pretty much instantly without having to type it out definitely makes communicating in trading a lot easier and a lot faster. Personally, I think this is a really good brand new feature. The next new feature is you can see when someone is looking in their inventory. Say you're waiting for a trade and you can't tell if they're trying to add or not, well now you can tell if somebody is adding stuff in a trade. So you can tell if somebody is adding by looking at these three little dots which kind of go and expand and if you see those little dots then that means they have gone and clicked the plus button and are currently searching through their inventory to find what to add. A great addition is this little emoji right here which is like the confused guy and that one means please wait I'm thinking about it. And another great addition is it actually informs you when somebody is typing. Before it didn't say if someone was typing so people would just go and close the trade without knowing that they were trying to go and communicate with them. But now by having this little text box saying that Jesse is typing for example, this will go and prevent a bunch of trades from going and getting closed earlier and will allow people to go and finish their messages and send them without these trades actually going and getting closed. Definitely a very good improvement into how the trading system works. But one feature that everyone is still saying in the comments of this video is where is Bucks trading? Which you know what, I kind of agree. I imagine eventually Bucks trading will come into the game, but that is a big thing to try and work on. Another new feature is you can spy on people's trades. That's right, you can actually watch them trading it live. And you can also go and add live reactions. So we're going to go and test this out in the game in a minute, but there are different ways that you can go and do it, and you can also see how many people are actually watching the trade as well. This idea is actually really interesting, it will probably prevent a lot of scams going and taking place, which is honestly great, because if we can spectate trade and say that it's bad for example, then it would definitely prevent a lot of scams. If you are friends with someone in Adopt Me, you will see this little smiley face next to their username. This means that you're friends with them. This is again to go and counter all of those scammers who go and make separate accounts and have basically the same username. If they don't have that little smiley face next to them when they trade you claiming to be your friend, then obviously you know that it's not your friend. If you see a YouTuber in game who's verified, they will go and have a star in a trade. If you don't see the star, then that means they're not an authentic YouTuber. So if you see someone claiming to be me and they don't have the star, then that means it's not actually me. And obviously you can also tell by the star above my username. And if you manage to find someone who works at Adopt Me, you'll go and see the butterfly logo next to them. This is for the Uplift Games icon. And that means that they are actually staff at Adopt Me. So how do we go and spectate a trade? Well, if they're already in a trade, you just click on their username and then click trade and there you go, you can spectate the trade. This is actually really good because people would try spam trades while people are already trading and obviously that just doesn't work. But now you can see if someone's in a trade and once they've completed the trade, you can then go and trade them, making the whole trading flow process a lot easier. So let's go and check out some trades, spy on some other people's trades to find out if they're any good, and then afterwards we're going to make the neons of the brand new pads that just came out. An Adopt Me admin gave you Pelican times 4 and Eels times 4. That is exactly what we wanted to see. So we've got all of these brand new pets and these things are actually already fully grown. So we're going to go ahead on over to gifts. 
and we're gonna go and actually make this neon being the world's first neon as this update literally came out actually minutes ago so we're gonna have the world's first neon and we get to go and show with you what this pet looks like that's right i uh i'm definitely on my girlfriend's account right now because uh, she got it and i did not so we're gonna go and make these right now so what i need to do is grab an eel grab another eel so the eels are 1000 bucks and they are an uncommon pet so there we go this is a neon eel somewhere somewhere over the rainbow where is it there we go oh okay neon eels cool oh it, it changed color again i'm sure that was just like white for a second that's nice all right very cool it glows the whole thing pretty fancy so now what does the pelican look like the pelican is a robux pet costing you 350 robux so let's have the world's first neon pelican as i said i am going to be going and giving away some pelicans completely for free so if you would like one then go and let me know down below in the comments since i will have one of the spare and be going and giving them away what is the neon gonna look like though what is the neon? Oh, let's see. Let's see. I'm excited. First neon pelican. Let's go. Oh, okay. It glows this nice, this nice blue color. Look at that, dude. That is very, very cool. So now the question is, what does the spying on trades look like? Because I'm sure you're all pretty curious on how this works so i'm gonna go and teleport to someone and as we can see this is what it looks like since i'm friends with them it shows this and then it's showing that their staff at adopt me i'm not sure this is right i think that's broken that's that's not going to show staff at adopt me um so i just want to see how the feature works if we then go and spy on the trade we can press the spectate trade button and spam all of these emojis and then the other game you can see what these emojis look like. So if I was to go and spam all of these, like the, ooh, um, if you are the one going and trading, then you will see all of these little emojis go and test up. And you can see that this person is currently searching through their inventory. They're offering me a neon axolotl, which would be a win, but I don't think we're going to go and trade it. I just wanted to see what this does look like. So that's definitely interesting how this new feature works. And we can go and click on all of these buttons. And uh, what is this one? This one just says no thanks. And there's a little countdown on these as well, which is interesting. So that's a pretty fun, nice little bonus update. You can't just keep spamming the same one because there's like this little countdown until it refills. Like I'm continuously clicking it. And uh, that is how the new system works. I think the, the emojis might be incorrect as of right now. Trading, trading might be broken. It's... It's not letting me hit decline, which which is weird. why can I not decline the trade? That is extremely bizarre. I <laughs> you can't get out of the trade. Now it thinks that wait a second. I can can I add? What? All right, so these are the two accounts. This is my girlfriend's account. This is mine. Um now it's it's I think the trading is definitely glitched for a little bit. I'm sure Dummy will eventually fix this. Maybe it's just my end or something. But that is very bizarre. But let us know what you think about this update down below in the comment section. And if you do like the look of the new Neon Pets. And if you want one in the comments. You need to watch this video next where I show 100 custom Adopt Me Pets that they need to add into the game. Click here to watch it now.